good afternoon you guys let me close this door I always feel so weird starting these videos so late in the day because I normally film super early in the morning but today's a special day so I am filming this in the evening we are having another book sleepover you guys I uploaded a book sleepover vlog last month I received so many sweet comments from you guys asking me to make this a series so I thought why not I think that's a great idea I actually had a lot of fun filming this book sleepover vlog in August so I am down to make this a series I think it'll be really fun and I recently purchased the final book in the inheritance game series the final gambit riddles upon riddles secrets upon secrets winner takes all of course by Jennifer Lynn Barnes I'm super excited to find out what Avery and the Hawthorne brothers are up to if you didn't watch my book sleepover vlog where I read the first two books in the inheritance game series I'll have it linked below definitely watch that video so you find out which team I'm on because in that video I let you know if I'm either team Grayson or team Jameson if you have read this book or if you read the first two books comment down below whose team you're on are you team Grayson or are you team Jameson or do you not care for either of them let me know in the comments below but similar to my last book sleepover vlog we're just going to have a very chill night together we're going to read relax have a cozy little evening together hopefully it rains because I love reading while it rains and it's been raining every night here in Tampa and I've just been living for that I love when it rains maybe we can have some hot cocoa maybe we can cook dinner together although I think I do have leftovers so I don't know if I'll be cooking in this vlog because I don't want to waste food and I'd rather just eat my leftovers if I'm being honest are you ready for the book sleepover I have like random pumpkins on the floor right now in my office because I have to figure out where to put them <laughs> gotta get comfortable oh my god my blanket matches with my outfit today <laughs> i was a little upset that i had to buy the hardcover version of this book because i own the first two books in paperback but i actually like how this hardcover feels and normally i hate hardcover books like they annoy me so much but this one just feels so nice and i just think the cover is really pretty so this one doesn't really bother me but in case you don't know what this book is about obviously is the third book in the inheritance game series i've already said that but it follows avery grams and the hawthorne family to inherit billions all avery grams has to do is survive a few more weeks living in hawthorne house the paparazzi are dogging her every step financial pressures are building danger is a fact of life and the only thing getting avery through it all is the hawthorne brothers of course her life is intertwined with theirs she knows their secrets and they know her if you know what I mean. But as the clock ticks down to the moment when Avery will become the richest teenager in the world, trouble arrives in the form of a visitor who needs her help and whose presence in Hawthorne House could change everything. It soon becomes clear that there is one last puzzle to solve and Avery and the Hawthorne brothers are drawn into a dangerous game against an unknown and powerful player. Riddles upon riddles, secrets upon secrets, in this game there are hearts and lives at stake and there is nothing more Hawthorne than winning. All right. Okay, why does she include the cover in the book like three times? Oh no, I didn't bring my water. Now I'm comfortable. Mm. Okay, chapter one. I forgot how much I love Xander. He's so funny. I love how much of a free spirit he is and how he's always up to something. Like he's always tackling on a project that somehow explodes, always ends up in an explosion. So I really like his character. This is going to be the first snack of the night. I've been obsessed with these strawberry fruit pops and I literally have been eating one like every day so freaking good and they just feel so refreshing so i've been eating that this is gonna be our first snack that back in the fridge <laughs> i just met the person who hi 
I just met the person who showed up at the Hawthorne's house unannounced and I don't know if I trust her. I feel like she has a secret motive and she's not to be trusted. I don't know. There's something about her that I just don't trust. Same with Avery's lawyer. I mentioned this in the last sleepover vlog but I don't trust Avery's lawyer at all. Something about her just gives me bad vibes and the oldest Hawthorne brother doesn't trust her either so I feel like I'm on the right path. I have like a working theory of what may be happening or what's going to be the ending of this book but I'm not 100% certain yet because it's still pretty early so I shall continue reading. <laughs> I just got to the halfway point of the book and I'm actually enjoying it so far. It's gotten a little slow, like I'm waiting for it to pick up a little bit because it's been stuck on the same puzzle for like the entirety of the book. And one of the reasons why I like the second book more than the first one because I felt like the second book had more puzzles and had more mysteries versus this one has just like one puzzle that they have to solve, which isn't a bad thing but it is slowing down a bit for me so i'm going to heat up my food and have my dinner while continuing to read i just got to chapter 56 and I just finished eating. I am so sleepy now after eating dinner. I'm going to take a quick little break to clean up my kitchen and do some dishes because I am getting sleepy. <laughs> twist that just happened and i was right but i am still over a hundred pages away from finishing the book so i feel like something else is going to happen that's going to be shocking but the book has picked up so much now and i can't put it down like i need to read to the very end to find out the whole story of what's going on <laughs> to do my skincare and I thought this would be a good time to chat about the final gambit. Where is my moisturizer? This may be an unpopular opinion, but I felt like the final gambit was a bit underwhelming. I was expecting it to be better than the second book, and I don't know, it just felt so underwhelming. Like I mentioned briefly earlier, I just felt like the whole mystery in this book was boring. And I'm not just saying that because Avery did, didn't end up with the Hawthorne brother that I wanted. Like, I truly didn't care about the romance. If you watched my previous book sleepover vlog, then you know, like, I really wasn't a fan of the love triangle in this series. I thought it was really stupid how someone could be attracted to two brothers. I just find that so weird. But I am upset at the fact that I was able to figure out the twist pretty early on in the book and I kept expecting there to be a second twist to, you know, make up for the fact that I figured out the first part of the twist, if that makes sense. Normally I don't mind figuring out a twist in a book if the author throws in a second twist towards the end and that catches me by complete surprise but Jennifer Lambari didn't really do that in this book I figured out the twist pretty early on and then that was pretty much it <laughs> what I predicted happened and nothing else exciting 
happened after that and then the ending just felt so underwhelming once avery figured out who was behind the final mystery and who was threatening her and the hawthorne brothers she solved it pretty quickly and i just felt like it was so underwhelming that is the word that i'm going to use to describe this third book underwhelming again i was just expecting a lot more and it just didn't deliver and i felt like grayson's character was low-key ruined for me in this book his behavior in this book was completely different than the first two books and i understand that he has gone through a lot so there's definitely a bit of trauma that he has to get over but i don't know i just felt like he wasn't the same grayson from the first two books the relationships i just wasn't a fan of the puzzles and the mysteries i was just not a fan of in this book because there's only just one big mystery and again it just felt super underwhelming and kind of made me feel like this third book was pointless and didn't need to be written and i hate feeling like that because i feel like it's a money grab not a fan of this final book i mean i still enjoyed reading it just because i really did like the characters like i love the hawthorne brothers specifically xander you guys already know i love avery's best friend max i love nash the oldest hawthorne brother of course i love grayson and i love jameson as well but it's definitely my least favorite book in the series for sure another thing that felt underwhelming with this book was the whole one year later chapter at the end of the book not that i don't like what avery did with her inheritance i was just expecting something a little bit different and i don't want to dive too much into it because i don't want to spoil the ending for you guys but i was just expecting her to do something completely different with her money her actions at the end of the book regarding her inheritance was very sweet of her but i was just expecting something else and i was expecting more of the hawthorne brothers as well i don't know yeah i have like a little egghead with this thing on but yeah those are my thoughts on the final gambit let me know in the comments below your thoughts on this book did you love it or are you like me and you felt a little cheated by this book and that is pretty much it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed watching and spending the afternoon with me if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you a part of my little community here on youtube and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys